we started going to church uh, when we got married, but going to church is like going to work. It's just something you do. Then it got to where life kind of got in the way and, and my wife and, and daughters would go to church and I just got to where I would only go on Easter and then Christmas and then I allowed my excuses to get in the way from that and then stopped going so I hadn't been to church in a long time. I'm an executive of a large corporation here in Georgia and at work when you tell people to do things they do it and I brought a lot of that home. Uh, I felt that I could command my wife to do things. I felt that I could command my daughters to do things. If they didn't do them, I became verbally abusive to the point that I said things that you can never take back. And it gets to the point where I said we'd go a whole week without talking. Everybody was walking on eggshells. What are we going to say? What are we going to do this week? That would upset him. It's a terrible life. I knew inside what I was doing to everybody, but I didn't know how to handle it. And it's not the right thing to do, but it, it, I, I just needed to get out so that my mind was occupied. So I was going out to see a movie and coming up 124, uh, all the traffic stop and go. There's a, a Gwinnett County officer directing people in the 12 Stone Church. And I can't explain it in, in what God did that day, but as the officer was directing people in, I pulled into the parking lot and I'm like, okay, well, I'm in the parking lot and then the parking people are directing me to the parking spot. So I sit there with the engine running and then I just sat there. I, I wasn't dressed for it. I was in jeans and a t-shirt. So I'm walking up front. There's people welcoming you at the door and it's almost like they're guiding me. And uh, I just sat down. Pastor Kevin came up and started talking and it just, it was a, a very emotional day that I can't explain and it touched me. And I, I think I cried at least three or four times in there and I've never done that. I don't show my emotions. When Pastor Kevin came off the uh, stage at the end, I was walking and he was standing there and he held out his hand and I shook his hand. And I don't know why to this day, but I told him, I said, uh, I've messed up my marriage. And uh, he just stopped what he was doing. People all around and uh, put his hand on my shoulder and started praying. And uh, it changed my life. God working through 12 Stone and Pastor Kevin Queen, it changed my life. That following Monday, I was on a spiritual high. And so I texted my wife and I was excited and, and I knew where uh, I wanted to go in my marriage. I did everything I could in the last 19 years to mess up my marriage and mess up my family. And I was at the point where I thought that I was gonna get divorced. And uh, it really impacted me when she said that, uh, this is the first time I ever heard you say something nice and fight for our marriage. She is the most patient woman and it, it, it's a blessing in itself and I didn't realize that until recently that the fact that nobody would have stayed with me, nobody would have put up with my stuff. We decided to uh, work on it and to recognize all the things that I was doing wrong and uh, I'm in counseling. Uh, my daughter and I have a relationship that I cannot tell you how good that relationship is that God has built between my daughter and I now. And she's moving out in two years, but I'm thankful that I get two years with her there every single day so that I can repair this relationship and have that relationship I never had with my parents. My God moment at 12 Stone was the moment where God said, I have to surrender. And I broke down and he has built me up from there.